We all love the music on our smartphones. It's very to on the bus, at home, and now at home, we can listen to it on a stereo system without being bogged down by wires. There's nothing to plug in. It works wirelessly, and you can play your whole playlist and control it from wherever you are in your house. So, Sean, how does this system work? How can I use my phone to play my music, and how does it communicate with this stereo system? We took advantage of the fact that all smartphones today have downloadable app stores. Yes. So we created an app for both the BlackBerry and the iPhone. We download those apps onto the phone, and then basically you launch the app, and it gives you a number of features and functions that it can do. The first is if you have music on the phone, mm -hmm. we can send that music wirelessly over Wi-Fi to the music system. Now, the advantage of Wi-Fi is that you get whole home coverage. Yes. You're not limited in range, say, with like Bluetooth, which is 10 to 20 feet. Um, on top of that, the technology has been architected in such a manner that there is negligible battery drain on the phone. I don't know if you've ever used Bluetooth in your car. The battery just, you know, You can just watch right the down. bars go down. Here, you're yeah. not going to notice any change. And, um, and then the third thing, if you're using a smartphone, you're probably going to do internet, you're probably going to do email, so you want to be connected to your home network. And the way we've architected our technology, mm -hmm. it will now allow the smartphone to work through your home network and connect to the music system. So you don't ever have to be away from the home network. It's all unified. So if people have phones other than iPhone, and say they're a BlackBerry user or an Android user, they're probably not going to want to give up their phones. But they probably have an iPod where they store a lot of their music. Yes. Um, so the good thing here is you can take your iPod, plug it into the system, and control it through your phone. You don't actually have to use one of those cheesy remotes that come with docking stations. Right? So my BlackBerry would, yeah, it would essentially become the remote. Yeah. So, yeah, like you're saying, I don't have to find the remote I lost in the couch. Right. I can still answer my phone calls, yeah. control the volume. Yeah. All right. But the thing that makes it very, very powerful is you get full access to the playlists, mm -hmm. the song names, the artists, the albums, and full volume control, even control the equalizer on the iPod. So you really? can adjust the settings on the audio that's coming out of the system. And then the third app that we're uh, launching with this product is Internet Radio. Now you have full control of radio stations from around the world, and you got a choice of music that you probably don't have locally. Most people that buy phones after a year, they want to replace them with the latest and greatest phones. So oh, yeah, switch them up. Let's go. So we're basically <laughs> future-proofing this product because as soon as a new phone comes out, we just load the latest software up on the website. Okay, and so as, as long as you download the app, you're good to go. You're good to matter. go. And then on top of that, we're also creating more apps. So one of the other apps that we're looking at is called USB Now. And if you have a USB hard drive or a USB stick with music, you just plug it into the back, and all of a sudden you're controlling it through your phone in the same way. It automatically sorts it by artist, album, um, you know, playlist. So the, the stereo system will send the information from the iPod or the USB stick or whatever data storage device you have, yeah. and your phone will know what's on it so you can sort through it, pick what you want, and correct, play it. Correct, correct, correct. So again, there's another app we're creating and we're adding on later, even though the product's already launched into the marketplace, right? It just keeps upgrading. And I can assure you we got a few more apps that are coming down the road that, again, you'll just be able to download onto your phone and upgrade the system later. So, Sean, why don't you show us how this works? We can uh, put the Gadget Girls theme song up there and we'll see what this thing can do. Okay. There you go. Awesome. That's fantastic. All right, well, thank you for coming into Gadget Girls and talking to us about this. It's neat to see that we're utilizing the wireless technology, and I can't wait to see what comes out next to these smartphones. Thank you. For hundreds of years, we have been fascinated with viewing our world close up, with a little help from this famous gadget, the microscope. The first microscope was made in around the late 1500s. It was a simple design which looks similar to this model made in 1793. By bringing the microscope to your eye, images became 20 to 30 times larger. The universal botanical microscope dates back to the early 1800s and was one of the first to include a stand and a hardwood base. In the 1800s, the compound Wenham microscope was common with two separate holes to look into. It was also known as a premier binocular microscope, and rightfully so, as this is what started the evolution of binoculars. With evolving interest and demand, in less than 40 years, microscopes turned from this to this. 
In 1896, this microscope was nickel-plated and looked similar to the microscopes we use today. But seeing small things up close wasn't the only thing that people were fascinated with. The first telescope dates back to 1608 and was inspired by the way glass was used in eyeglasses. Historians say that Galileo was the first to look through a telescope. He was fascinated with the sky and needed a gadget to bring him closer to the world. Inventors like Galileo and Sir Isaac Newton are given credit for developing the design of the telescope. Thanks to microscopes and telescopes, humans have been able to view more than the eye can see. So Ethel, I hear you've become quite the musician. Well, actually, I haven't had much formal training, but with the Beams musical instrument, I definitely sound like a pro. Check this out. Beams is a musical instrument that allows anybody to be able to create or play music right out of the box. It doesn't matter if you have a musical background or inclination, uh, you will be able to play great music immediately. But exactly how does this work? Well, as you see, there's six different laser beams on the device, and all you need to do is interrupt it with your hand, and you will create a series of music that has been designed to work great with some background rhythm. So why don't you give it a try? Oh, that's so neat. We can create some songs. This was invented by uh, Jerry Riappel, who is a great musician in Arizona that uh, wanted to bring music to people of all types that uh, never uh, had the opportunity to play instruments before. And this allows them to do that. If you are a great musician and know what you're doing, you can do some great things with this as well. We have a number of artists that use the product and create sophisticated things. But if you're an average person that doesn't have that background, as you saw, you can have a lot of fun and be able to be playing and making great music right away. Charles, let's talk about the technology that's actually in this device. Well, this is in essence a MIDI controller that you can use to compose music of any type that you'd like. And our great musicians and composers have created hundreds of songs that are designed so whatever you play will sound good. So is there a software component that's attached to this device? Yes, the product comes with the hardware you see. It connects by USB cable to any, any Microsoft com uh, Windows computer. And uh, it comes with a software that's very easy to load that, and you're off and running in a matter of minutes. Am I able to edit in the software by any chance? Well, our presets come and allow you to rearrange the different musical sounds and compositions we've created. Our professional versions allows you to bring in and create your own music, move and do whatever you'd like. Laser technology is fastly advancing, but it's going to let us now create music, sounds and songs. So, Charles, thank you so much for letting us have another solution on how we can bring music to our lives. And that's it for this week. Because Dr. Von Mor... I'm not going to say it again. Von Morenschild. Von, von Morenschild. Dr. Martin Von Morenschild. Now you have to say my name again. I know. <laughs> Engineers and computer software engineers make the latest and most... Sorry, let's start that one again. Sounds exciting. Mm. Oh, I forgot what it said in yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's formal. <laughs>